Welcome to the shop. Yeah, you click the thumbnail so you saw the destruction and then you watch the video and horror as that beautiful B-25 piled into the ground. What went wrong? Well, actually, we kind of know what went wrong. The gyro destroyed that plane. What do I mean by that? Stick around. I'll tell you what happened and how we can prevent some of these issues from happening. So, what happened with my buddy's plane? Beautiful B-25 destroyed in a matter of four seconds. Really was a matter of the pre-flight check and not going through the entire process. What I mean by that is he showed up at the field, planes configured, it's a flight line, uh, B-25. He put a nice new receiver in with lots of, lots of telemetry and coolness and a satellite receiver for better reception. Notice that the elevator servo was reversed. I don't know. Makes a quick change in the radio. That's easy enough. And goes for flying. What we didn't do <clears throat> is relearn the servos on the receiver. So if we would have done a pre-flight check. Elevator, the same thing. If I point down the elevator, is making the plane go up. And looked at, which this is super critical, to do your pre-flight check with AS3X and SAFE to make sure the control surfaces are responding and acting the right way. If we would have done that, wouldn't have been a problem. So, but you might also be asking yourself, like Mike did, what do you mean, relearn the servo? There's a function in here on your on forward programming. Relearn servo settings. You need to do that if you're setting up these planes and you make any changes to the servo after that initial configuration. I'm gonna walk you through what that looks like. Come down here to forward programming. Gyro. Relearn servo settings. Apply. Complete. Now we're done. And it, you know, we all talk about the pre-flight check and how important it is to have a pre-flight check, not just looking to make sure the servos are moving, but the fact that they're moving in the right direction. And there's a lot of videos out there talking about it. I'm going to go through, you know, the difference uh, on my Ranger on the different gyro settings and how you know when you're looking at this plane and you're ready for that first maiden flight. And again, most of this stuff comes out in the maiden, right? So this is where being diligent about your maiden pre-flight check is important. So I'm going to go through just the process of gyro on safe mode or stabilization mode or in AS3X optimized mode. So take a look at this. Stability mode test. How do you know when looking at your plane what gyro setting you have? Easy way to do it is when you get it all spun up, the reflex system, at least when it's all spun up and you're holding your plane and if you move the wing, you'll notice the aileron is up and it's staying up. You'll notice if by pitch the uh, tail back and forth, you'll kind of see the rudder moving quite a bit. Elevator, the same thing. If I point down, the elevator is making the plane go up. If it stays like that, it's in stabilization mode, which means it's going to self-level, okay? If I go down into the, basically the assist mode or optimize mode, it just does it for a little bit. I make a little little twitch and it you see the move it's moving but it doesn't stay in position and that's just to help you buffer in the wind so we're gonna fly it in state now so that we figured out there's a couple other things that need to be done I, I think and you need to have access to it quickly and that is your switch for either turning off the servo or off the gyro entirely you know typically I guess when I made in a plane I I turn the gyro off there is no gyro um, not even AS3X, because on those plug-and-play types of planes, those gains that you have in there, <clears throat> they're in there for a reason. When you set up the gyro, it'll have 40, 50, 60 
as your standard gains. Well, 40 might be way too much on a very sensitive plane. An EDF lying fast, the 40 gain might be way too much and it'll oscillate like crazy and all of a sudden you're in trouble. It'd be nice to be able to flip that switch and now you don't have to worry about that. And it's just flying on its own with no gyro. So having a switch, three position switch for no gyro, AS3X and safe, if you so use safe, then go ahead and put that in, but have a way that you can flip out of it. It's super important to have it set up that way. Okay, now I guess we all learned a good lesson. I know Mike did. Uh, he learned definitely on the pre-flight check to do that extra step of checking to make sure the gyro is working properly. So, hey, by the way, if you could hit that like button, it helps me out, it helps my channel grow a little bit, and it lets me know I'm making the right videos. So thanks a lot. Have a great day.